Welcome you to episode 123, 123 of the Visitcast. I hope that many of you will join. Yeah, waiting for some people to drop in as always. Uh, yeah. Uh, you show me already in. Thank you very much for joining. Yeah, one of your tracks will be also later on in the show. Can't wait. Um, hey, private is this something I don't like. <laughs> right, give me a second. I need to fix this. Why is this okay? No, it's open up. I should be fine. Um, yeah. So many of you will join. Yeah. We have many, many tracks lined up for you. The first one that I'm gonna play tonight is Pagano with Latin Tales. Yeah, am I sorry, Dean? Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, this is a track uh, from uh, Two Room Tracks. Goes on for quite a while. Um, yeah, let me know how is uh, isolation for you going on. I believe this is like the most interesting topic for all of us at the moment. Uh, yeah, because mine is um, okay, I would say. I'm not like very happy with it, but uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I'm still working, which is surprising, uh, because I would have not have thought of that. Alex is watching over on Instagram, thank you very much for joining as well. Is this DJ Pagano? I'm not sure. This is him, I believe it's not him. I have to look up. It's something what I can't, uh, can't look up in beforehand. Yeah, uh, Douglas is watching, thank you very much for joining as well. Um, yeah. A very nice uh, synthy here by Pagano. I really enjoy it. Francesco Pagano. Like this yeah. A very cool idea with this synthy. Yeah, that's it. That's DJ but very cool. And he's really mixing up the different styles, the different uh, uh, different synthies here. Also, a very cool mix down. Something a bit different, unusual. Yeah, so let me know what uh, your quarantine is, how your quarantine is going so far. This is the track by Pagano, Latin Tales, out of two room tracks. Yeah, as always, as every week, um, BusyCast playlist uh, on Spotify is also a thing this week. Uh, yeah, I'll be revealing it after the show. So, you know, I can publish it. Maybe some of you will find it already. And this idea with this quick synthy here, like quick melody there in the background, it's very cool. So we have the two layers of like piano layer in the background, this uh, stabs like this, do, 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 do. very, very cool. Love it. The British would say, fucking great man! Something like that. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, shout out to my friends from the UK, which I couldn't see last weekend, because last weekend there was the plan to see these guys. Third party, my lovely ones, my lovely boys, but it didn't work out unfortunately, we know Corona Crisis is here, probably to stay for a while, and yeah, I wouldn't even be able, I believe, to uh, like uh, even fly over to the UK because I would have to like stay 14 days in quarantine like everywhere, with for example the troubles with... Um, uh, with uh, like in caring, like like with people are like uh, in care, like care, like for example, uh, people that are caring for oldest, uh, for, for for elderly people, and many of them are from Hungary or Romania or Slovakia or the Czech Republic, and they're coming to Austria, and now they can't because well they have to stay 14 days in quarantine, and yeah, it's very strange. Yeah, it's a huge problem. We see like how globalized Europe is at least already. Hmm. Drinking here fruit tea. It's actually my favorite drink for a while now, I would say. Yeah, Pagano Latin Tales, a great track to start off the show with. Hope to see many, many more tracks by Pagano. We're really enjoying him for the last uh, for the last couple of months. And uh, the next one that I'm gonna play, also like we're staying a bit in this techy vibe here, Back to the Funk by um, yes, yeah, it's a bit of a wanted style. Yeah, very very right, Gujon. Um, 
I wanted also one of my all-time favorites on size. I have many, but this was definitely one of my favorites. Martin Eakin and Sunny Porter back to funk. I love the bass line. Martin Eakin with his bass lines. Mm. Always on point. This is out in Love Juice Records. I'll drop you the link into the um, chat on Facebook and then later on, of course. All the links to the tracks, if you're watching on YouTube, will be available in the description, of course. I love the melody. Connor is also watching, thank you very much for joining. Hope you enjoyed this one by Martin Aiken and Sammy Porter, Back to Funk. Yeah, Martin Aiken has really his own style and I really enjoy this. It's uh, like nobody else that is kind of copying him or whatever. But it's absolutely cool. So when it's about Tech House, I believe it's one of the best at the moment. What's in my browser is first one today, and I have no idea why this is the case. I don't like this. There we go. Yeah, the melody is absolutely brilliant. Very simple, but really gets the crowd going, at least me. <laughs> and the impersonation of crowd. <laughs> Anthony's watching. Thank you very much for joining. How is uh, isolation going so far in the UK or in Ireland? Let me know. <clears throat> this is well, this is something yeah, we all have to go through now. This doesn't really matter uh, which, um, like, which nation or which country you're living in. So it's a very tough time for all of us. But yeah, we've got music that gets us through and um, Definitely sure that more and more music will come, especially with uh, like, for example, uh, Corey was asked, Corey James, uh, how he's doing isolation on, on Instagram. He's saying it just as normal, you know, because he's been in like uh, caught up in the studio for like the past six years, so nothing really changed. <laughs> those are the those are the best memes on the internet, by the by the way, right now. That actually. Um, usually, like, uh, all the other people have social contacts and the producers, well, they don't have them. Yeah, I, I heard of this, Guillaume. Yeah, that Sweden is really, um, yeah, not very careful when it's about this. Like, American style a bit, but even America's now. Some states are starting to put people in isolation. Um, so, yeah, it's a very strange situation. Um, well, maybe... Uh, Maybe your government just thinks, well, it's, the virus cannot go up that much north, you know? <laughs> Maybe that's... That would be like a typical Trump hypothesis. <laughs> Maybe that's the idea of the Swedish government. But it, it will come, sure. It will come for sure. 100%. I'm pretty... Pretty um, certain that uh, they will also, like, put in some... Um, some more serious measures uh, up there as well. Yeah, and one of the tracks that I really enjoyed on Saturday when I was doing gardening work, um, I had uh, this wonderful track by Mark Knight called If It's Love. It's new release on Two Room, his own label. And uh, together with um, Laura Davy and the Melody Man on the vocals. Absolutely brilliant. If It's Love, out on Two Room. Dropping the link. And yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Really enjoying it. Yeah. So yeah, in, in Austria it's like this that we um, are, we uh, from, I believe Monday on, the latest, uh, we were, we will be only allowed to wear masks in, uh, in supermarkets. I believe this is already the case in Czech Republic, for example. Um, yeah, it will be very strange, and I believe from that on, um, it will be probably like that. That um, that uh, you probably will then only be allowed to wear masks everywhere in public space, no matter where you go. In. So even when you're passing like other uh, people on the street. Yeah, and I love how this piano really builds up here. This is such a nice tune really slowly builds up 
and uh, it just like, you know builds up the anticipation for the whole track perfectly. So that's why it's you know so tough like when you have elements to show off in my like, busy cast and really need the time to kind of listen to this and then we have it like um, like uh, two minutes uh, like a one minute drop um, of like build up into a breakdown and then into a drop. So it's it's a very interesting. Um, very interesting here um, arrangement of the track. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, Sam is also watching. Thank you very much for joining. A wonderful track. A wonderful track. So in love with this beautiful uh, piano and the vocal. So, yeah, great job by Mark Knight. One of my favorite producers for long long time already like eight or nine years at least so since I started listening to electronic music it's basically as so so in love with Mark Knight I've seen him once in Bratislava like a couple of years ago already and I believe one of uh, I believe uh, the, I was the last one that caught a pic with him uh, after his set in Bratislava because it was at a lake and um, yeah and I believe it's one of the Nice picks that I ever have will have with, with well. Right now, now when I have 25 kilos less, I was looking way different. So watching myself in this um, in this picture, maybe I can show you. Um, it's very strange. Um, let's lift it up. Yeah, absolutely great, beautiful vocal. Wow, very strong. Well, let me know what you think about this one. Meanwhile, I'll show you my, my picture that I have with Mark Knight. If I can find it this quickly. Lift it up. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. It should be... No. Yeah, th there we go. Yeah. So, maybe I can show you. I mean, you, sh you see now mirrored in the live stream. But this is the picture that I have with Mark Knight. So, you know, we're gonna see the uh, reflection. But I really love this pick. I mean, like, Mark is so, so perfect here um, on this one. So absolutely brilliant. I love it. Like, he's, uh, Mark is uh, having, like, the perfect smile here. Yeah, thank you very much. My grandma is also watching. It's su such an honor. Yeah. So, we still have, like, this uh, track here. Um, if it's love, Mark Knight. Laura Davy and the Melody Man on the vocal. Beautiful. So yeah, what's up next? Let's check it out here on the playlist. Let me know what you think about the show so far and the tracks. Yeah, I want to show you one track of the um, um, of the uh, latest X Tone uh, remix package. Yeah, so I need to put out my uh, X Tone family badge here. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. So there we go. Um, so it's the track um, by uh, Tom Ferry and DFUX, DFUX, however you wanna uh, pronounce it, featuring Nick De La Hoya with Lulabi, and this is the Andy Culto remix. Um, yeah, my record is watching. Thank you very much for joining over on Instagram. Um, yeah, so all the people are doing live streams right now at the moment. This is very strange for me. This is a completely new situation. It's usually, you know, but now like everybody is staying home at the moment, and that's it's actually why well, it's very strange. <laughs> strange situation. Yeah. Also for this one, I provide you of course the link here. Yeah. Um, yeah, Exxon Family is still very active. Um, I'm trying to, you know, uh, get you there, you know, to always be like, uh, like give you the latest news. And yeah, try to share everything that's Exxon related. It's a very tough job right now because now it's actually the perfect time to, to be very active, to be honest. Yeah. Also, this vocal is very nice. Lula B and the Cult Remix.
Yeah. Well, this one has a very slow build-up. It is a bit of a deeper approach, but I'm enjoying it a lot. So you should definitely check out the whole remix package, I this is just my favorite one that, I'm, that I showed you here. But it's a very cool one, so definitely check it out. And, um, yeah. Then I have one more here, that is, um, this is really a techie banger. Uh, Barto and Andy Shade with Dance All Night. Um, a one that I that I definitely um, you know surprised uh, that kind of surprised me when I when I found it. So let's check it out here. And yeah, uh, later on or actually very soon, uh, I will play you the this this one here when you buy first party because they didn't um, they didn't give us like a new track, but uh, like like the, the the live show but at least a new track. So let's do this one first here, Dance All Night by Bartel and Andy Shay. Cool techie one. Yeah. This is out on Total Freedom Plus. Yeah. Very cool one. Yeah, and upcoming uh, is your promos and free downloads, which is always a very um, one of my favorite um, categories on a BB count. Six people are watching, so let me know where you're watching from and how. Is quarantine going so far, or isolation, however you want to put it? It's not the same, I know, but yeah. Are you staying home all day? That's just my interest. Team first vocal from, from Splice, really? Yeah, Splice is actually a, um, a very uh, known platform right now that's actually getting also overused. Yeah, this, this is very unfortunate, Sean, I know. Um, yeah, but where, where else to get vocals from? This is a huge problem, right? So, um, the best thing would be like to uh, find a singer yourself. Uh, I know some people are doing it, for example, Kato Anaya, which uh, he gets you know, the greatest uh, respect for that. Because this is how you get the origin, uh, the originality of the short track, right? Yeah. So, thank you very much, Alex. Yeah, first party track is coming up. Alex is loving my shirt. Yeah, it's custom made, and I didn't say that <laughs> because they, of, of course, the boys are not earning anything from it. But yeah, it's, it's promotion. I enjoy the promotion a lot. For, for the boys because it's really fantastic music and we'll see it in just a bit. But before I, um, um, yeah, sampling all the records is also a good idea, but of course, uh, Sean, yeah, um, very tough to release it at some point. But yeah, um, so I've been waiting a long, long time for certain tracks. I mean, Kato is absolutely brilliant, Alex, yeah. Because I, I know, I've, I've been talking to him, like, like what, what helps a lot, me, for example, as somebody who's really presenting you the music, to show you, like, um, background information around the music. And uh, Kato is telling me a lot, um, especially when we see each other, like, at least once a year during AD. And we would have seen each other in Miami. It didn't work out due to coronavirus. Shit is getting real. Thank you, Cardi B, for this wonderful information. And now we're stepping up the tempo a bit here because I've shown you this on my story last night. Um, this absolutely fucking great man track by <laughs> uh, Idea Wise, at least by uh, Low Tracks, uh, this producer is called from Gra from Glasgow in Scotland, and he has sampled. Because speaking of sampling, uh, you uh, said this uh, just in that moment, Sean. Um, uh, the BBC breaking news theme and made a 140 BPM techno, whatever, like uplifting tempo, I don't even know, a tech schranz, whatever track out of this. And it sounds freaking funny. Yeah, Alex, if uh, Corona will um, calm down, uh, like in, uh, like until October, I will come there as well. Prime Minister has announced the most drastic yeah. So Sean is asking about my thoughts on the current tech house. I don't believe it's too bad at the moment. Some stuff is getting overused. This is I'm I'm totally aware of this. 
Uh, but there are some producers like Martin Nickin or Eli Brown that I still enjoy a lot. And now uh, Calvin Harris is back. Uh, or actually doing this for the first time with his love, uh, Regenerator Elias. Um, I believe he was with it. just uh, um, a, a live stream, just I believe last night or two nights ago. Because it was, it was from uh, LA in the afternoon, so this is really late night here in Europe. And I love how this goes. Woo! Very unusual, but I'm so far very thankful for Lord Rex and I believe Taylor. I saw this in Taylor's story, so huge shout outs to Taylor for this one. Ah, this is like wonderful. Like the, the sample is so simple, but it, it, it kind of continues and so loops very quickly, and it, it just makes it kind of infectious. So, very cool. So, let me know what you think about this one. So cool! <laughs> like I, I couldn't, even, I couldn't even believe when I heard it for the first time. Like I, I saw this clip on his, um, um, on his, uh, on his f Facebook, Instagram, or where I believe um, Facebook. And was it Instagram? I believe it was Instagram. Uh, and um, and I saw this anticipation, like he, he was sample, like he was showing off this BBC breaking news feed, and then he was doing like this. His hands, and then he get he got to work, and then I'm thinking, no, no way, is he really doing that? <laughs> and then it got better and better and better, and then he came up with this genius, freaking genius. <laughs> Low tracks with breaking news, free download on his SoundCloud. I put the link uh, in the comments, and of course in the description on YouTube. Um, to be honest, uh, Sean, Sean is asking about whether the uh, tech house uh, thing is leaning towards the commercial sound, maybe a bit, but um, yeah, it's it's very tough to say. Um, I've been listening to tech house like for eight or nine years right now, and I've never ever thought that it's gonna be like mainstream. If a track is good, then it's gonna, you know, be, be good and be, be popular. Like, I'm still loving losing it to this day. Really, uh, it's, it gets me shaking, gets me dancing every time. And that's why, you know, it's totally normal for me. Like, um, it's of course, if, it's, if it starts getting overused, then of course, it, the, the same was with Big Room. The same is now with Bass House. Uh, the same is with uh, Progressive Trends for uh, years already. Like the, the, um, the uh, like for example, the arrangement of Progressive Trends is, is always the same. So there's very little variation in this genre. Yeah, but people love, still love it because otherwise they wouldn't like keep on producing it. Because why produce something oh, this is getting so good, that you know that nobody's listening to? So yeah, everything has like its right to, to, to exist, and why not? Mm. Alex, where, where I'm from? I'm from Vienna in Austria. Um, and yeah, uh, feel free to follow me on, on Instagram because there I'm uh, saying a bit about about Austria sometimes when I when I'm feeling like it. Um, at Max Easy, uh, all working together. And where are you from, Alex? Because I'm interested um, as well. Where all my busy cast busy cast viewers are, are from? Because you know, for me, you're you're all the same. So. Yeah, emotion is a lot in melodies. Melodies are really emotional for me. Melodies and sometimes vocals, sometimes together. A bass is not really emotional, it's in, my, in my opinion. Bass is just cool, it's just banging, it's just you want to dance all your ass off, but it's not emotional. Uh, so, for me it's really melodies and... Um, and, uh, and the vocals, and that's why when I'm heading over to this track, then uh, by these guys, then I'm gonna tell you. You're from Guatemala, yeah. I know uh, so one of my uh, friends that I met on uh, met met uh, at, the, at the university is also from Guatemala. So yeah, or, or she was living there for a long, long time, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and speaking of bass, I have uh, here, for example, a good bass house track. Uh, because speaking of this, uh, Sean, we got here uh, the new one by Megan Fox. He's called. He's one part of. Um, of uh, the former duo Mag and Narek, maybe some of you remember them from X Tone back in the days, and now he's having this little cheeky free download called Dirty. Yeah, yeah, of course I know the Mayas, obviously. 
I believe since 2012 and a bit earlier, everybody knows them. 2012, the world would end. Ooh. I have no idea what I should call up. I can't remember. It's, it's, been, it's been years ago. I have no idea what I should call up. I would have to, to look her up. So let me let me know, uh, Sean, what you think of this one, whether this is already too commercial or whatever, because I believe it's just right. Not too much, not too little. It's dirty, absolutely. Yeah. But I can't find him here. So it's just it's maybe still DJ Mac or something like this. Yeah, thank you very much, Alex, for joining. I'll let you know. A really cool idea here for this track. Yeah. I mean, I don't listen to this either as much, but when, sometimes um, I, when I find something and I think, well, it's very cool and, and stuff and uh, thinking, okay, it sounds pretty neat for that kind of style, I, I add it, uh, I'll add it to my playlist and I'll let you know here on my busy cast. Because it's a very cool, short little thing here by Mac and uh, why not? Man Fox Dirty, free download on his SoundCloud page. A very short track, like three minutes. But yeah, it sounds it sounds pretty pretty fine for for the way it is produced and for the stuff that it that it is. Yeah, now some uh, um, uh, disco vibes that were my promo this week uh, by the guy called Josoy with Get Big. This is out on Django Music in April. And there's already a preview on YouTube. Very cool. And yeah, very soon these guys are coming out. Very, very soon. I can tell you. Ah, this vocal, how it builds up with these, uh, these vibes. Very cool. Let's see if I can take to a point. Actually, my browser is once again very slow. Something is going on with Firefox over the last, what a period. Yeah. Might be him, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look up. But I really love uh, the melody. And like the idea of general that it's kind of like go ask here. Yeah. So cool. I must be. So yeah, absolutely cool idea, and I believe it must be him, like he's, he's from Italy and has only 50 likes on Facebook when I saw that correctly, 160, it's very, still very little, so definitely show him some support. Just saw it with Get Big, out April 24th of the Django Music, very cool track. So yeah, I always like to show you like different styles as well, and yeah, sometimes, you know, this comes up on my playlist, and this one, so yeah. Like that I added this this week or that week. So yeah, very cool. Yeah, it has a bit of like uh, Armin Cost moment array vibes, a bit of death punk in between. Like it's a, it's a very cool mix. So yeah, um, I've heard something like this in a long, long time. So that's why I'm very cool. Big ups, absolutely. Um, yeah, to be honest, I haven't heard the new Safe Trackers compilation yet. Uh, feel free to send me the link and I'll let you know later. Because I haven't actually prepared this now and I actually have one track and then these guys are coming up. And this track is by, by a guy who was already in the live stream. Um, Dirty Twist, aka Dijon. He was track or his remix for Arts 
forget about you. This is out on Spotify already, so feel free to check it out. Of course, in my Spotify playlist and um, and yeah, um, of course, in the description on Keyport. Oh yeah, this is not out yet, I believe, right? Because I pre um, I pre uh, pre listen, pre heard, whatever. <laughs> this um, like in the like in the, in the like I. I I was listening to a preview um, of um, no, but I mean I mean the the safe records compilation. I was listening to the preview of the, the safe records compilation because Sean was talking about this. Yeah, I was just about to uh, drop the Spotify link as well, but I want to of course tag you. By the way, let me know, Sean, once you're in. Who is Arts? Is that like the? Is this like a? Pop singer, or uh, because I have no, I haven't heard of him yet. Okay, never mind. Because once you're watching, then this is good anyway. So let me know who's Art, because I'm interested. I really love. Um, yeah, let me, let me know what you what you did about this track. Always impressive. Okay, they're pretty new. Okay, and those are like producers, or um, or is it like a pop duo trio, or how does it look like? Let me know. It has a bit of like this. Um, uh, organ bass in the background, so this reminds me very much of my like the first uh, tracks that I kind of heard um, electronic music. It was, like, when I started listening to electronic music like eight or nine years ago, there was a lot of organ bass around. Okay, and where do they have the vocals from? Because the vocal vocalist is not. Um, it's not on, and how uh, how did how did this collaboration came together? It's also interesting. You now I got to get the build up or the drum. Yeah, very cool. Very summerish. Um, just in time to play maybe a last track or one of something in between. For the festivals, like the chillier ones, I would say. Yeah, very cool melody. So yeah. So let me know about how it all came together. I'm very interested. Yeah, and now it's time for these guys that I was already talking about. So these guys brought out something. Um, okay, meanwhile, uh, Gijom uh, told us something about. Uh, they asked in Swedish DJ and producer groups and asked if anyone wanted to remix it. Wow, so simple. Wow, I would have never ever thought of this. Wow, that's so cool that you are so well connected in Sweden. Um, so yeah, apparently Facebook group seems like it, and yeah. So yeah, congrats on the release, uh, sounds very neat, and yeah, hope for many, many streams there, stream it, for sure. And these guys made something that I instantly fell in love with. So I haven't heard Take Me Away, um, like, uh, earlier, and like before it all started, and uh, my release family badge here, so I need to support the family here. An absolutely fantastic tune by the guys, and so we were talking about emotions, and this is, I believe, a very good example. So um, we got here uh, really like the vocal by Harry. Like he's once again on the vocals, absolutely cool, and uh, yeah. And they even released the um, the lyrics. Yeah, but I believe the lyrics are about. Uh, Escaping the reality, which I believe you would all love to 
do now, at least, I don't know, like, uh, erase this uh, virus. Take me away from here. Now for the scene. Now, I was instantly, like, singing the vocal the first time when I heard it already. So, really great job by the guys. Johnny and Harry, always in my heart. And this is really music that, you know, gets straight into your heart. And I can feel this so good in their music because, like, since Swedish house are not there anymore, they are really like monopolists in this sound. So let's enjoy it together. And the melody, I was instantly in love. And I heard it for the first time and thought, yes, that's it. That's what I expected. <laughs> really. Yeah, and Terry voice, yeah. A bit, a bit of Rob Smyer vibes, exactly, to show him, yeah. Not as much, but like, in the function, very much, yeah. I'll need to tell him, <laughs> once we see each other again. And yeah, all I can tell you, this track, so they, I've seen them in general in life, that, um... This track was not played in Slovakia in January. That's all I know. So it, I believe it was supposed to be played during um, live last weekend, but it didn't work out due to Corona. And I love, uh, so the extended mix is not out yet. It might be out this or next Friday. Uh, but I never, I like, and I didn't, I didn't even care about it because I, I thought I'm just gonna play you the original because it's um, we have like a 30 second drop here, and then we have a 45 second drop at the end, and yeah, the vocal just, yeah, the mix is so perfect that uh, I don't really hear it that it's like for radio. And once again, just take me away. Wow, these emotions. And this is like the perfect mix of like the melody and the vocal. Beautiful. You know, and Mauricio joined, thank you very much. Just in time for you here in spirit. Third party. Release records, release family. All one family. With their new track, Take Me Away, out now on their own release records. Down to the sea. God, those vocals, beautiful. Great job, Harry. Great job, Johnny. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So, no, well, um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be two hours. No, not as much. Uh, roughly 30, 40, maximum 45 minutes more. But yeah, thank you very much guys for this uh, really straight into my heart. My first reaction was like, I recorded it and I, I can tell you because I was interested myself and all I can tell you is really that it was exactly that what I love and what I expected from what I'm expecting from you and really like uh, it's so great that they really stay true to their sounds and uh, really like, always come up with a, like a new melody, a new idea. Uh, and yeah, and many, many people also, Mauricio is now telling and also like on the... Um, release radio live stream and they, they, they were saying that uh, they want the collaboration with Matisse and Satko that that would be perfect yeah uh, Strings Again was also a very cool track uh, like not like a 100% perfect one uh, at least in my, in my ears but you know everybody like has their own like you know um, imagination about what could be like the perfect um, uh, perfect collaboration and whatever so this was definitely one track that I loved this week, and there's also another one that is absolutely brilliant, mind-blowing, and I am very, very sad, uh, only for one reason, but it has nothing to do with the track, it has to do with a recording that I did during uh, Miami, uh, sorry, during Amsterdam Dance Event, the ADE, and I lost this recording, because I recorded it on, um, on uh, Insta Story and it didn't upload and I didn't have any chance anymore to uh, save it in on my phone. So always learn first save and then upload <laughs> if you're doing Insta Stories in crowded places. <laughs> because then you would have seen my freaking awesome reaction when I heard when I first heard this track at Dennis Koyu's set at Protocol uh, party during ADE. I think it must have been. October 15, 16, something like this, last year. 
And other triplets? Okay, I was a bit too early. I need to learn this. <laughs> but yeah, uh, triplets are very rare nowadays because they got so overused during this uh, big room uh, phenomenon, especially with the track Tsunami by DVBBS, Dubs, or however you want to call them, and Borges back in the days. And this track will really get me crazy here. Can you feel it? It's called Out of Musical Freedom this week. Or the really last week on Friday, I believe. Fantastic tune. Are you ready? Woo! Wow! So massive! Such a like fantastic feeling. Uplifting, but still with power. Absolutely. Great, brilliant. So I know I've met the guys of Magnificent and they told me a bit about the track and uh, yeah, absolutely cool that they really came here together and uh, made this track here. And it finally was released because it really took a long, long time. Uh, because well, it was October and now we have uh, the end of March, so it took half a year. But it's finally here, so let me know what you think about this one. And also, the drop goes also on for like 45 seconds, which is rare nowadays. Yeah, um, so maybe one little critique if I want to say is that maybe yeah, they could have done something else in the breakdown. Because it's a very simple vocal. I mean, sometimes you don't need much, but I believe I would have also loved it as an instrumental. So that it would be a, maybe a bit more epic. And it doesn't sound like there's this little uh, vocal here in the breakdown of the drop. Really, it's like like a second version of Tongue, but like updated to 2020. It's perfect. I loved it instantly when I heard it for the first time. Instantly love and that was my most emotional moment of ADE next to I think the whole third body set. It was just one big emotion. <laughs> of course, because like the voice and like the, the crowd that was so intimate with third body was just absolutely brilliant. I love this track. So let me know what you think about this one. Because it's absolutely brilliant. And we have like, like this 45 second drop. And then we have like the outro. That is still going pretty nicely. So it really reminds me of Tongue very much. And but yeah, uh, still enjoying uh, uh, still enjoyed it a lot. So really nothing that changed here very much. Yeah, uh, up next I got for you uh, another mix of this track by Firebeats called Bad Habit. I believe the original I played already one of my previous episodes. And now we've got here the club mix. So we know the vocal already and the club mix is less like a bit, you know, more electro, more something for the dance floor. Very cool. Something is slowing down my browser here. <laughs> what is going on with my browser? I have no idea. So I want actually to share all these um, different tracks here, and my browser is just so slow nowadays. For whatever reason. But yeah, we got here the Bad Habit uh, Club Mix. That's how it sounds like. Also very very cool this quick melody here. So yeah. Yeah. Something is very slow here. For whatever reason. So yeah, let me know what you think about this one. We'll turn it up a bit here because it's very cool. Yeah, the original is a bit a bit more, yeah. I like both, I would say. Um, both are very cool, but yeah, the original has maybe a bit, like, it's a bit more charming, yeah, indeed. So yeah. And I really like, I really like the vocal. The vocal is so cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm 
I have no idea where the vocal is from because I believe they don't take it from Splice because they have uh, way better connections <laughs> than all those, yeah, um, that many bedroom bad, bad producers we can have because five beats are in the game for a long time already. So, yeah. But yeah, cool idea and yeah, the original is also great. And um, what I wanted to show you as the next track is a track that um, is a reissue from a track that is... Uh, so it was originally released in 2006, so it's very old. And I'm very thankful here to uh, Anto, um, like aka Anto Dex, for telling me this because I was not aware of that. Uh, because I, I did some research on this and I thought it's, it's a new release. But yeah, you can already hear it from the snare of it that it seems to be like a bit outdated. But like the idea is still very cool. This track that what I wanted to show it to you. It's the uh, Love Sensation Ediphonic Sensation Mix. So it's been a long, long time. But this track, although produced in 2006, is still very cool. Sounds absolutely fresh. And then I thought oh, all the time, why not play this? But you know, of course, to announce it as a new track is a bit uh, weird. But it's, it is a reissue from 2020, and uh, it's very cool that I kind of found it because it's a very cool track. And he produced it back then with Kurt Maverick and uh, Anne Bailey's on the vocal. And yeah, so we know the sensation vocal, every, all, all of us. And I really much love the snare here. So I was like surprised that I haven't heard this before because I was not aware of this. But yeah, um, check it out, it's a very cool tune. Even if it's from 2006. And uh, yeah, this is just a reissue. And I believe there's also a new disco um, version of this. So yeah, feel free to check it out. It will be in my Spotify playlist. And now... Um, um, one guy together with two guys that I like all the loads here. Mr. Sid, uh, Kiro Prime and Zenza with this new track Bounce. This is out on a new sub-label of Re uh, Revealed. It's called Revealed Radar. And it's absolutely a cool idea. It's really like, um, has those storm vibes that Mr. Sid did together with Dave Rothwell. For example, if you remember the um, Criteria compilation. Very cool back then, and yeah, idea wise, still very nice. I want to check all the guys now, so it will take a while. I hope not. This is it Cure Prime and Senza with the track Bounce. I was also listening to this a couple of times, and it's yeah, it's a cool track for in between to be listening to. I love the build up. And those drums. Very cool. I'm sure I can text Senza. We'll check it out. I'm not sure whether it's him, so that's why I need to. Him. But I believe he's just sitting here prime on it, so maybe they'll see it as well. It's a very cool tune. Um, I love this this layer here. This bum 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 bum. So yeah, so really cool ideas here. Also the vocal. So yeah, I'm very uh, surprised that reveal to uh, release this, but I'm of course very happy for the guys because it's a cool record. So let me know what do you think about this one. Yeah, so that's Bounce. And there's also another track um, of Revealed uh, Rather. I believe I will play the first two releases on this one. The other one is uh, like goes a bit into the future direction. It's by Tank and Unicorn, it's called Dirty Dance. Also a very cool one. Um, Idea wise, so it goes a bit in the future. 
So, like, I have, like, days where I don't like this kind of sound, but I don't know, when I, when I heard it for the first time, I kind of felt like, like, listening to this. So yeah, feel free to listen to this as well. Meanwhile, Paul has joined, thank you very much. It reminds me a bit of um, Vicious Girl by this one producer that I forgot his name. Um, I'll need to, to, to double check. Um, forgot his name. Um, but yeah, in general, very cool um, record here. Uh, Mosaic is watching, thank you very much for joining. Um, Calvo? Calvo? Something like this? So this is kind of what this, this kind of style. And I believe he had Calvo. Yeah, Calvo. Please call. And uh, yeah, it reminds me of Vicious Girl that was back from 2015. And I really liked the sound back then because it was very new. But then, of course, all his tracks were the same. They sound like this. I haven't heard it in a long time, so... Yeah, why not? Give it a try here. Yeah. Okay, and then I have something that is out on Monday, so very fresh. Out of the awesome here. This is the new release out on Funk record Recordings by uh, Danik, of course. And this track is by Swanky Tunes, our guys from Russia. But a long time I had a track uh, by them here on my busy cast. The track is called Poison. Yeah, so I'm very surprised that they brought out something which I actually like because I would have not thought of that. Yeah. So yeah. So it's been a long time that I actually heard this kind of swanky tune sound. So, and by very old I mean like five or six years. Because they, at least swanky tunes were a lot, like experimenting with different sounds a lot over the past years. And this sounds like, you know, that they came back to to this, like, first town that I know them from, just a bit updated. So. Reminds me a bit of Promised Land. It's a bit of a Promised Land vibe. So yeah, very cool. So, yeah. Very cool lead. I really came up here with something fresh. Maybe the mix sound could have been a bit better, but the idea is sick. Very great. Yeah. And yeah, so we have like over here a, a drop of 45 seconds, and then we go back to the breakdown. It sounds like a bit like all the big room breakdown, but yeah, I, I don't really mind it too much. So I was listening to this for the first time and thought, well, this doesn't sound too bad. I'm so surprised by this. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. But this is liking as well, huge. Yeah. Indeed, surprisingly good. Actually, one of the um, one of the rare releases that I like by um, by uh, by funk recordings, because usually I was not a huge fan of funk. Because they have like their own kind of sound and sometimes it's good, sometimes, you know, it just, just, you know, not, um, not very certain about, about it. Yeah, but this one was pretty cool. Surprising. Yeah, so that's that. That's uh, Swanky Tunes and Poison. And next is... Uh, Tracked by the producer called Proxy from uh, Russia, and I'm presenting to you here the track Hi, and uh, yeah, um, also has uh, cool electro vibes, has a bit of like the um, like uh, also a bit mousetrap vibes in it, so yeah, very cool. And Stevie, me meanwhile, joined also here on Insta, thank you very much. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so very similar actually, idea-wise. Also like has a bit of like uh, promised land kind of vibes, to me at least. Mm. Like when it's about the, 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 like the synth only, it sounds very creative. Because like a sound like this is very rare. Or maybe Steve can tell us something about this track by Proxy called Kai. Because I believe uh, idea-wise it's very cool. Maybe he's playing a bit with the modulation of the track. Absolutely cool. Yeah. So idea-wise... I like it. I like it. I admit it. <laughs> yeah. This track is out on the label In Rotation. Might be also interesting. And then it has like a breakdown and then it builds up again. Very cool, a very short break, only 30 seconds, and then it drops for a minute, which is very cool. Rare nowadays, we have to say. Yeah. Oh, the track really speaks for itself. Very cool. Absolutely, absolutely uh, worth uh, checking it out. Proxy and tie. And then uh, to close down this section, uh, like these uh, banging and uplifting tracks I got here. Um, uh, yeah. Um, Love Generator and Eli Brown, yeah, coming up. It will be in my next uh, show for sure. Uh, because someone tagged me there. Must, wasn't that you? I'm not sure. Was it somebody else? I believe it was you. Yeah, you tagged me there. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, thank you very much for, for mentioning that. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, on Instagram and I will, yeah, I will uh, keep an eye out on this. And yeah, a um, new track by Calvin Harris, aka Love Regenerator, together with Eli Brown, the two track EP. And here we have Kempton Cox healing the Redfield remix. The fact that I heard on Criteria last week and I somehow didn't, didn't find, uh, like in my uh, research uh, for last week. Absolutely cool track and Redfield also um, um, also had a release on Xzone and I really love the um, the, um, the what I want to say uh, the uh, the vocal. The vocal is very cool and that's why this really is also great. Healing and nobody's calling for help. So and the vocal cutting on this one are sick. So let's check it out. Usually I'm not a huge fan of vocal cuts in the draw, but they have to be really really good and really have to fit with the vibe of the track and in that case it fits very well with this kind of deepish approach to the remix. So thumbs up, I like. Absolutely. Very cool. Nobody going for help. It's very unfortunate, I know. Help. Yeah, and I love also like that the drop goes for two minutes, I believe. Yeah, looks like the drop is going for two minutes, and it's really like very progressive. And uh, yeah. but if I believe also like use it in the progressive section, or it's like kind of a track to transition into the progressive sec section here, because I also found four very cool progressive tracks to show you. But well, let's listen to this once again. Camping Cox Healing Redfield Remix. In, 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 in. Yeah, very cool vocal cuts. Totally unexpected, for me at least. Yeah, so I think that's it for the guys over on Instagram. Because I want to finish it now here. Um, on. Um, Facebook, so feel free to head over to Facebook for the last couple of progressive tracks. Yeah, that was Kempton Cox healing the Redfield remix 
very, very cool, so huge recommendation. The extended mix goes for almost 8 minutes, so for the lovers of progressive, perfect. I need to do look to look what somebody wrote me on Facebook later then. Uh, yeah, so now we can head over to the uh, progressive tracks that I found this week. And actually why I actually brought, uh, you know, it gave the uh, banging, uplifting mix now the spotlight. And now we're heading over to a wonderful progressive track that I found this week by Hu Horisky, I believe he's pronounced, the track Blagard. Um... A very cool, like, kind of techno slash uh, progressive approach to it. And here we go. Hope you're ready. Really cool tune. Let's see if I can find him. Oh, there are so many. So I need to look up for yourselves, but I really enjoyed this track and I wanted to show it to you. And it's also on Spotify, so feel free to check it out. Yeah, that's that. And um, what else do I have for you in the progressive section here? I got, uh, yeah, a new remix by Stan Collab that I enjoy a lot. So in general, his, his stuff like really gets me going every time. <laughs> and this is here his remix of uh, Rainforest. I believe this is not on Spotify yet because there's very little Stan Call of music on uh, on Spotify, which is a bit, makes me a bit sad, but it is on SoundCloud as a dance floor romance premiere. So definitely feel free to check it out. It looks like this has a bit of like a PK um, vibes there, like the progressive PK. Um, like Solace, for example, like one of my favorite tracks by him, or Nova, sounds a bit like it, very cool. So I believe the, this this music definitely has too little spotlight and I definitely want to give it a shout out here as well because it's so beautiful and not everybody understands house music and the same actually works for progressive house, the real progressive one. And it goes a bit, of course, into the deeper direction, but uh, I started loving it over the past couple of years. That's why this year, for example, I also made up a new uh, progressive house only track list where I really put in tracks like these. That, yeah. Really thick, groovy, uplifting section there. But I, 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 like, uh, I like these tracks just as much as, as the other ones, although they're like, you know, uh, make up emotions body, in my head, wherever you want to put the emotions. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. Definitely check it out. And one more quick that I got for you here. It's my Matt Fax. My favorite um, progressive house producers. Uh, it's the first time that I saw him live during ADE. And this is his new track out of his new album that will be released soon. Um, and to him it's like uh, like he like had a different approach to the tracks he made. And yeah, this is the track The Wave. And when I'm listening to this a bit, it reminds me a bit of Nora on Pure, like sound wise. It, has, it goes a bit more to the deeper direction of my facts, but still pretty fine. Pretty fine, very cool idea, very progressive still. I like, absolutely. This vocal, so it's like a mix of Anjuna and Anjuna Deep, somewhere in between there. Yeah, so two more tracks to go. I got here for tonight. Let's let me check out the second drop here as well. Also, like the mix is way softer. It's very interesting to, to realize. Plays around the bass line very much. The dirty sound is also releasing this kind of music. Maybe not as trancy, but. Still very cool. 
but definitely worth checking out their math packs featuring Ava Silva, The Way. Really great tune. And yeah, he's going to release an album. This is the first single out of this. The album will be out later. And the track is out on Colorize by N Hates Music. Very cool. So let me know what you think about this prop section so far. I know only some of you are joining, I like uh, only watching, but yeah, very thankful for every comment. And one last track before I close down here, this uh, prop section is by Colony. And this goes a bit already into progressive trance as, uh, as well. But yeah, uh, very interesting to, to listen to like different drops on, on the same track. So that's how it sounds like. That sounds very cool. The idea of the drop is very, very neat. So this is uh, also like a bit of the Pride of Ice with the snare. Pride needs to release more music again. <laughs> Colony with Paradigm. Paradigm is actually already like taken by Camel Fat, because they had a fantastic release a couple of years ago. On external, it's called Paradigm, with an even better remix package. Yeah, but this is Colony's Paradigm. Yeah. So I'm closing it down here a bit. To finish off, I'll play you the track that I played you already, I believe, three weeks ago, because it's so fantastic and I still love it. But meanwhile, maybe let's go the second drop of this track by Colony, called Paradigm. But this one is the a bit transier part here, the second drop. Looks a bit faster. Very cool. I love the snares on this one. So yeah, cool idea. And uh, yeah, we'll hear the snare goes back and forth. Yeah, very cool. So yeah, definitely check it out. Um, pull me with the track Paradigm. Yeah. And this is out on the track on the label Wake Your Mind Records. This is even a progressive trance label, so very rare that I play this stuff, but I really enjoyed this record, so it was definitely worth showing it to you. And uh, to finish off the show, this week we got the track by Corey James and Stevie Crash, Somewhere in My Heart. I heard it on a couple of shows already and I would just work to play it again. Out on Side Records. Yeah. Going towards the end of the show tonight. Thank you very much. It's the last one to chill out. Hope that you enjoyed it. Some of you were very active tonight. I really like that. So, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do one, uh, like during the day because, well, I'm still working, which on one hand is good, on the other hand maybe not, but maybe it's, you know, um, it helps me from, like, not, like, from getting crazy, because who knows, you know, how, how long this whole situation will go on, at least we still got the music, this is what helps us to get through, I hope all of you think the same way. And yeah, and maybe this weekend I'll try and put up a, a live stream uh, on Twitch. Yeah, because well, um, I've uh, discovered a lot of um, like 2014, 15, 16 tracks that I enjoyed a lot over the past couple of years, and I still love to listen to them. So I might, you know, mix them together and you can watch it live. And yeah, it will be fun for me for you. So. You know, that I'm not, you know, that lonely. Because, you know, in my room I'm usually alone. Like, next, next, like, at the back there will used to be my brother, but my brother lives now with his girlfriend. Everybody's now isolated, so... Yeah. I cannot even see my brother now, and I love him. My goodness. He's the only one who understands my humor. <laughs> yeah, so let me know. So free to blind still. Let me know what you think about this fantastic track here by Steven Trash and Corey James. Somewhere in my heart. So as I mentioned already, I believe three weeks ago that breakbeat is not really my thing. 
but um, uh, but in that case, it's so well made. I don't break it, so I don't mind the the main like beat or the main kick there of the drop uh, of uh, of the track or of the drop. I just you know focus on the atmosphere and like everything else in the background, and it's just absolutely so brilliantly made here by the guys. It's a beautiful vocal and yeah. Let's enjoy the last job of tonight. Harry James and C Fresh, somewhere in my heart, out now on size. And meanwhile, I'm getting you the playlist link. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, because it's, I believe, uh, due to the springs in the background, they make it so enjoyable. There's a little lyric video to this, so definitely check it out over on Size Records YouTube. Beautiful too. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this week's cast. Hopefully back soon. And uh, yeah. And I hope to I'll let you know about my live stream either on Friday or Saturday because I really have. Um, I really want to do one because it's been a long, long time since I've done one, and uh, I believe it must have been last year, uh, New Year's Eve, I believe. That's kind of why I got it for the last time. Yeah. And hope that um, many of you will join me then. Yeah. Thank you very much for the love and yeah, um, for your um, very. That you've been so active over the past so yeah, uh, one hour and some minutes. Yeah, I want actually to pin the comments, but somehow it doesn't really work. <laughs> and I need to work on a quicker browser, so I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> yeah, okay, it doesn't work for whatever reason. Okay, so hope to see you on the next piece of cast or not. I'll let you know maybe on a um, Twitch live stream would be also very fine to welcome you there as well. So have a great evening and uh, stay safe, wash your hands um, and have a great remaining week. Thanks and bye.